1986, whenever it was created, like they, they solved all these problems that we still need to solve today. Like our problems have just like shifted in technology a little bit, but it's the same problems. <laughs> no, the cool stuff, like Jose even says that uh, sometimes like y your telecom company doesn't, doesn't call you to tell, oh, uh, this telephone line will be out of service. Uh, during this window of time or when you pick up your phone like there's no uh, there's usually no problems and when they upgrade the system like your call doesn't doesn't terminate and yeah it's crazy you, you can, it's you, just you like ready to use long. and then the same tech just keeps resolving our problems like just yeah. like with llms and like the idea of agents it's like already there for us and uh, and like a lot of those frameworks uh, are kind of rebuilding what we already have uh, on the beam so there, uh, some frameworks are, are are talking about having agents communicate through messages and having no shared context. Again, mm -hmm. message passing actor model. Yeah, uh, right. It's what it's what we do every day. What Erlang has. We talk about fault tolerancy, uh, supervision trees a lot. So a lot of the concepts we already have have them battle tested uh, and ready to use, as you said. Well, everyone's trying to catch up to what Erlang did forty years ago. <laughs>